Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and welcome back to the Russian Empire here in uh, Victoria 2 HPM. I hope you guys are all doing well. I want to remind you guys, I do stream over on twitch.tv slash shoot. So if you haven't followed me over there, make sure you do because we're playing games like Victoria, uh, EU4 and stuff like that over there. So I did a little bit of research and it seems like the best way to spawn communist revolutionaries is to basically crush everybody <laughs> is what it seems like. Um, basically, don't give them what they need. Um, so I'm going to raise tariffs. I'm going to raise price taxes. We're going to be very rich. Um, and then the idea is, is that it will not allow our people to get their needs and, uh, it will cause instability. Uh, Egypt wants an alliance. I'm going to not do that, but I will sphere them. So continue to improve our relations. They are now cordial. They are neutral with these guys. So you got to keep an eye on France over there. Or is it? France or maybe it's uh yeah France yes so we need to get consciousness basically is how that works so I don't know if uh this is useful we we do have some of that those rebels are Jacobins so we want to put them down but essentially the way that it works is we want to make sure we allow rebel these rebels to spawn and we allow them to siege down our capital and uh the surrounding area as far as I know, that's the only real way to do it. There is no like decisions or anything like that. October Revolution really does need to kind of happen um, on its own. All right, so we're continuing to industrialize quite heavily. We're right there with the USA. We can now sphere up Egypt or get one more improved relations with them. Very good. Um, let's also see if I can, all right. Japan is just like absolutely ravenous. <laughs> they are absolutely ravenous over here. All right. Let's continue to invest into the economy here. Perhaps we should probably get a couple more armies. So let's do that. Let's go with guards only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or no, eight. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, not Asia. We want them in uh, Europe. Uh, North German, no. Let's go with Ukrainian. One, two. Uh, I don't think Belarusian is accepted, is it? Ukrainian. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and then um, one, two, and then one, two, and that's two thirty stacks, so one sixty stack. I believe actually our um, so what is this? Oh, nice! You can actually take a look at your RGOs and see which ones you're producing the most at. So here's where all of our coal is coming from, mostly over here. What about like wood mostly coming from over here okay interesting um so supply limit is the one i was looking at so these guys over here are like 100 yeah yeah so we can start doubling up our stacks here so let's do that no reason not to honestly uh yep everybody can have consciousness i want them to have consciousness i'm not gonna ally anybody you guys don't deserve my alliance have these guys group up like over here these guys over here yeah that's fine We're constructing more armies very good everybody wants to be my ally i'm so popular everybody's so obsessed with me dude they're obsessed with me dude Very good. What you guys doing here? Building an army on my border? War is a racket, huh? All capitalists gain consciousness and militancy. Sounds good. We can now finally spear Egypt. Spear them. Uh, all intellectuals will gain consciousness. Very good. Valley of the King. So I don't... This is just an HPM thing. But we have so much money. There's no reason not to. Yes, more coal. I like coal. We are industrialized after all. So it seems that uh, 
we're a little slow to get these things. So, uh, I believe what we can do here is I can go into, where is it at here? Production, maybe? E Let's expand the railroads. Where is it at here? Where we can purchase trade goods. Here we go. Trade. Derp. <laughs> That makes sense. So let's go into trade goods. Let's say ammunition. Let's just buy the entire stockpile. Make sure we keep as much of it as we can. Same with artillery. We have like infinite, infinite money. So we should just automate it. So we always keep them. Let's buy all the planes. Why not? Um, what are we at here? Canned foods. That one's good. So our economy should tank for a moment. We have a huge buffer. Um, so then you can see if over here, the price probably, all right, very good. So canned foods, we did not say to go up. So we'll confirm that trade there. Russian communists have risen up. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so these guys are not to be suppressing rebels. This is what we've been waiting for, lads. This is it. This is the plan all along. All right. So these guys over here are uh, not to be doing that. Uh, 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 I don't think so. Not e, not e. And these guys over here will do nothing. They'll do nothing. So this army here is grouping up. This army here. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. Look at that. 50 research points a month. Absolutely insane. <laughs> um... Ashes Rebel Organization, right? Suppression. Yes. Uh, none of that is particularly useful to me. Get a little more throughput tech. Oh, actually, I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. It's time. The gas attacks. We need that tech. We shall rebuild. So I want these rebels to uh, siege me down. I'm just going to let them do it. Now, ideally, we would have gotten a whole lot more than we did, but that's okay. The fact that we're like not suppressing them actively is good because it just means they can kind of do their thing. And hopefully they'll head up towards Moscow. That's my main goal. You can see since we purchased all that stuff, now you can see how much we have over here in our stockpile. Very good stuff. There's no planes being produced. None at all, really. Well, let's see if we can change that. I don't know if it's actually smart for us, but um, let's see here. Production. What do planes... All right. Let's go with the reactionaries. And speaking of populations, they're up to 4.2. Dank. So what do we need for planes? Where's that at? I can't build planes. Yeah, it's unf that's fair. So, let's take a look here. Is this oil? I think we had oil over here somewhere. Did we not? Here, this is oil. So, we have some oil provinces over here in East Galicia. So, let's see here. East Galicia, can we get an oil refinery there? That would make sense, right? Basically, we kind of want to get the edge of the, the corner of the market on there. The third way, huh? Oh my gosh, these poor... These poor rebels are going to be sitting there for forever. Sergei Yudnich. Who's leading this other army over here? Dmitry Nabogatov. That's a very Russian name. Ottomans are being calling me into a war, huh? No fascists. We don't want fascists. We want commies. So who are you at war with over here, brother? Um, they're not in a war. Okay, so I don't need to join your war. Austria-Hungary is no longer a great power. <laughs> oh my gosh, nihilism. Very cool. Again, just like neck and neck with the U.S. Crazy. It's crazy. So what are, what are these things popping up here? What is that? Oh, railroads. Nice. We had almost 10,000 a day or a month. 
yesterday. No, per day. Yep, yeah, that's uh, pretty dumb. So yeah, let's see if we can get a few more. Raise our tariffs. Keep, like, just really suppressing the people. That's uh, my main goal here. Get more reactionaries. Or more uh, revolutionaries. We got a couple of uh, militant socialists over there. I think they can handle it. Get more digging and defensiveness. Eh. Not quite the rebels I'm talking about, baby. No, no, no. Hey. Can you not? No. Why would you do that? Finland. You sons of guns. They killed my rebels. All right. Let's see. They were at 420 last. Yeah, this is not worth. This is completely not worth. Um, okay. Let's just go back to some craftsmen in our most populous states then. I don't know if the clerks were a good call or not before, but uh, we're going to get a few more craftsmen. I think it's like 20% of the population you want to be craftsmen. Is that correct? I might be completely wrong. We now have gas attacks, so that's good. We can justify a war. I'm going to wait a little bit until I can f handle 13. I really don't want to... Um get declared on by like everybody in the world by going over 25 if you don't know if you go over 25 infamy you get basically war decked by every single major <laughs> it's disastrous it is disastrous so don't want that to happen it would be really dumb for me honestly i cannot believe how much money we're making and i don't need it like i don't need any of this money Make sure we are building everything we can over here. Yep, looks like we're good. Brazil, who you at war with, buddy? Colombia. De Colombia para el mundo. I'll join you. I don't want to break alliance with you. <sighs> so Spain... I don't know, man. Our sphere is already quite extensive. I don't think we really need to be working with anybody else. You know? Maybe Ethiopia? They're uncivilized folk. Let's see here. They're at 27. Yep, they just immediately discredit me. No questions asked. No work around. They're just like, nope, you're gone. Goodbye. <laughs> we are exporting tea, huh? So this is coffee and tea? Tanks are not in high demand, but they will be. Oh, yeah, they're in high demand. If I buy them all, nobody else can buy them. Consciousness is fine. Uh, Support is really good. 50%, that's really good. Yeah, basically it makes it so your cannons do more damage from the back row. As far as uh, support, I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. So we're just waiting until we get down to like 12, roughly. Yes. Get these guys out of there. We should probably build up another couple of armies here. So let's go. Did I do two? Yeah, very good. These are just like the ideal sort of like variants. Like you want to make sure that you have that many people in there. So Ukrainian, two, 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 and then eight. Uh, one, and I believe they should all start building immediately. Nope. Ugh, we don't have all the all the materials for them. 
thought I did, but it doesn't look like I do. I don't care about Haiti. I was thinking I was being cheesy by doing this, but maybe I wasn't. I have it set so we basically buy all of it, right? So we're going to be completely stocked out basically at all times. More nationalists in uh, these guys over here. I don't think so. Hmm. I'm doing what I think I need to do for these communists to spawn and they're just not spawning, man. Um, more artillery support. Sounds good. Helmet mass production. Yeah, that seems like a good call. <laughs> Still gaining craftsmen, so I'm in no uh No Japan, you're a bastard. I want him. And Japan is being an absolute son of a gun. Sweden wants an alliance, that's fine. Ching China wants an alliance. Hmm. Probably not. But um Whoa, why is this jumping so much jumping around so much? Yeah, that's why. You either have to micro this like crazy. Who can? Been discredited, so get out of there. We're almost down to 12. It'd be really risky, but I could go a little before then. Norway has uh, some rebels up here. Norwegian commies. Ooh. The US wants an alliance. Britain wants an alliance. So I'm not allied to either France or Italy anymore for some reason. I think I'd rather have... Okay. I don't know why they weren't, but now they are. These guys are strategic alliances. Alliance offer from Persia. Yes, please. Maybe it would be good for me to steal Afghanistan from their sphere. Let's see here. Stealing Afghanistan from the, the um, British sphere might be a good idea. Opium, huh? I like opium. I mean, in the game, not in real life. I don't can't say I've ever had opium. Though I have been on uh, fentanyl one time when I broke my leg. That was pretty nutty. I understand why people get hooked on that stuff, man. I will not lie. So let's see here. Jacobins, communists. There's just not that many of them, man. The militant socialists are much more likely to pop up. More throughput. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Everybody getting sphered up by France. By France? Did I say France? The Zoc Nationals, huh? Yeah, I don't think so, dude. That's not, not gonna happen today. Not today. Hmm. <laughs> Our top exported goods, imported goods. We're importing a lot of tea and coffee and beverages. Colombia wants peace. Panama acquires Panama. Hey, Panama. How you doing? They are a civilized nation. Very good. All right. So we're almost there. Goes down a little bit per month. Yes, I want to ally these guys. I swear I saw a thing that allowed me to annex them. But I don't know where it is. Need some ships if I want to do this. Naval plans. Ugh. I don't care about Navy. I'm Russia, bro. I'm Russia. A war to end all wars, really. They're not at war. I can now yoink. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> but I can't improve my relations with them. I'll do that a few times. 
We are now up to friendly with them. So we'll be able to get some influence. Should go pretty quickly. Rush is probably gonna, or they're probably gonna discredit us. They haven't yet. Let's uh, go with some more tax efficiency. Tax them all. Clear out their pockets. Their money is mine now. Yeah, let's... Oh, there you go. We got discredited. So let's just pull back. Hopefully they don't keep going. And we'll kind of still sneakily be improving relations with them. Having higher relations gives us uh, better... Um, influence with them when the time comes. We can now justify on Austria. Cut down to size. It doesn't look like they really need to be cut down, to be honest with you. Let's see here. Liberate country. Liberate Hungary. <laughs> Let's do it. 10 infamy. I can handle that. That's not a big deal. France wants an alliance again. Why do they keep... Does anybody know? Can somebody tell me why the AI just randomly keeps breaking alliances with me for no reason? For seemingly no reason? Because in my eyes, nothing is happening that's causing them to want to break alliance with me. I don't know what's going on with that. This lag is pretty bad, though. Yeah, very good. Keep on improving relations with them as well. That way, as soon as we're not discredited anymore in uh, February. Sure, I'll ally you, Norway. When we're done being discredited in uh, on Valentine's Day, actually. Look at that, 69. <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah, let's get some more militancy with our boys. Across Antarctica, sounds good. Tax efficiency, more tax efficiency, please. I need more money. The more uh, these guys feel like they're getting boned by us, the more likely they will be to uh, attack us. Let's declare war to liberate Hungary. Very good. Have you guys come down here? Have you guys come down here? You guys come down. Yeah, very good. Should be a pretty quick war, honestly. Uh, I, I don't care about um, the Brits, literally at all. Imprison him. A little bit of attrition never hurt anybody, right? Oh, they got a big old army over here. What's this about? They're not at war with anybody else anymore? Ooh, they peaced out. All right. Well, let's see here. Let's see if we can uh, bait some defensive fights over here. Ooh. All right, so they attacked me here. This is good. So take a look. They're going to be taking super, super heavy losses on me. Just come over here and continue to, uh... Ooh. These guys attacked me and I had a four digging bonus? Not bad, huh? So let's have these guys reinforce over here. And let's see here. I think this is... This might be a little cheeky, but I'm pretty sure I can actually have these guys come from this battle and head over. Okay, so we won that one. So we'll take the army that's got the most fresh um, morale and send them in. There we go. Yeah, look, they're taking such heavy losses compared to me, dude. Look at that, dude. That's crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Yeah, like they're coming over here and sieging me down, but dude, at what cost? They're mobilized. I guarantee you they're mobilized. They have Miltech 23 on me, though. Oh no, we have 23 as well. So yeah, this is this is really okay, to be honest with you. I kinda just need to wait for them to attack me. So like if they want to base race, we can base race. I'm not opposed to it, you know? Like I will win a base race, no doubt. 
take a look. I'll win a base race. <laughs> oh, man. I guarantee you their war exhaustion will go up quicker than mine. There you go. They attacked me again. Let's have our boys reinforce over here. Take a minus two on that one. Yeah, look at these losses. Man. They, they cannot handle these losses. They can't, I promise. I promise they can't. This is nuts. You guys are going to get... Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world just happened here? We've got declared on by who? Germany declared war on me? Liberation of Posen, huh? This doesn't seem intelligent. I'll be honest with you. All right, well, let's see here. It would accept the white piece. Time to uh, pivot our armies and uh, head north. Let's get our boys grouped up over here. And then head over through there. Do I have any more armies here? This 23 stack. Let's have you guys hit group up up here. This should be fine. These guys are heading over there. These guys are heading over here. Very good. Big whoop. If they decide that they want to uh, get a couple of boys occupied, I don't care at all. What is this province? This is hills. What is this? Grasslands. They're going to reinforce, but I think it's okay. I mean, I certainly outnumber them. Who's in nationalists? Nice. Get over here to Krakow. Get those guys out of there. They're actually on kind of low morale as well. Kind of funny. Let's uh, have you guys split. Have half come down there. Half come over there. Let's get the 60 stack over here as well. To start sieging them down. Yeah, I don't know what they did. Why they did that. They're um they're going to get absolutely clobbered. Like yeah, we're taking heavy losses because we're being offensive in these wars. But like they took back um. Well, they even took lower Silesia as well. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see here. Not bad. Let's uh, continue to wipe out some of their men here. No reason not to. How did you guys teleport over there? They're so fast. All right. Let's have you guys go down here then. You guys head back over to Krakow. Have you half half go to Danzig and half go to whatever this is, Tow Run? A little bit of a longer episode. You guys know how it goes whenever we get into wars here. They'll be out on the third. We'll get there on the third. Not in time, sadly. Let's um have you guys reinforce over here and just hopefully wipe this stack out. They attacked me here. Interesting. That's a minus four for them. We have no commander on that army. Holy crap. No wonder they attack me, man. Gas attacks as well. Look at that. Zoink, scoobs. Same thing over here. Look at this. Gas attacks. They took a minus five into a plus four for me. These guys are not going to be doing well after this war. I, I promise. It says I'm losing. I'm not losing. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, look at these losses they're taking. Compared to me. Yep. We're doing okay here. So let's say here. Uh, I don't have jingoism. Really. So I... Really. Protectionism. So does our general just... They have jingoism. We just don't have enough. So if we beat up on them enough, we might even be able to take like... Oh, uh, East Prussia or West Prussia? Maybe. We'll see. Maybe we take Silesia. Ooh, Silesia's got North German, though. Uh, we have a lot of North Germans over here. We'll see. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, like the video if you're enjoying it. But uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.
huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Ep, Jay Baller, Lon Damon, Draco Arhavis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, R.J. Pilant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.